This video will cover the topic, using a given zero to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, real zeros. In this video, we will go over the same example as we did in the video that explained long division, but this time, we will learn how to divide the polynomial by a linear factor using synthetic division. Let's take a look at the problem again. For the polynomial below, 3 is a zero. g of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. Express g of x as a product of linear factors. Remember that because 3 is a 0, this means that x minus 3 is one factor of the polynomial. To find the corresponding factor that goes with x minus 3, we divide x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 by x minus 3. And to do this, we will use synthetic division in this video. If this seems unfamiliar, refer to the topic in Alex on synthetic division. Synthetic division allows us to look at only the coefficients of the polynomial and not worry about the variables. Remember that it only works when we divide a polynomial by a linear polynomial, which is a polynomial of degree 1 with a leading coefficient of 1. If dividing by a quadratic polynomial, a cubic polynomial, etc., you can only use long division. What do you remember about synthetic division? I remember we list the coefficients of the dividend in order of descending powers and write them inside the division sign and then the given zero outside the division sign, but I don't remember what to do from there. Can you show me? Of course. That was a great start, though. Yes, we write the problem as 3 division symbol with a 1, negative 4, 1, and 6 in the inside. The 3 is the given zero that we are dividing by. And the 1, negative 4, 1, and 6 are the coefficients of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6, written in descending order of powers of x. In other words, the first one is the coefficient of x cubed, the negative 4 is the coefficient of x squared, the 1 is the coefficient of x, and the 6 is a constant. After following the steps and process of synthetic division, we obtain a result on the bottom with the 0 branched off to the right. The 0 on the end shows that there is a remainder of 0, which means that this divided evenly. The 1, negative 1, and negative 2 are the coefficients of the quotient in descending order of powers of x, with the highest power being 1 less than the original power. The original highest power was 3, so this quotient has a highest power of 2. We therefore have 1x squared minus 1x minus 2, or x squared minus x minus 2 which is the result of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. Therefore, x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 equals x minus 3 times the quantity x squared minus x minus 2. Just as we did in the last video, we can factor x squared minus x minus 2 into x minus 2 times x plus 1. So our final answer becomes g of x equals x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 1. So to do synthetic division, I write the coefficients of the original polynomial in descending order of powers of x inside the division sign, and then I write the given zero outside. I then follow the calculation process to find the quotient with the remainder of zero. That new quotient would be a corresponding factor of the polynomial that I can then simplify further, if need be, to find the final factors. Nicely said. 